tell by how dark this video is, but I have a ton of lights on in here. You can't barely see anything. <clears throat> Who did that? Where'd that come from? I'm, uh, I just finished wiring together all the components of the electric motorcycle. I have a battery, I have the contactor, I have the motor controller, and, uh, and the motor. This, this is the motor. And it's hooked up with these two big ass battery cables. And they go to the motor controller, which is bolted down here. This, this is the contactor. And that's a big old battery. Now, you can see, I'm going to grab a light. There is quite a bit of meltage on these cables. You see right here, melted. When I connected the whole circuit, when I closed the whole circuit, I had it closed off at the negative end. And when I closed it on the positive end, I, uh, I got some sparking, which I expected. But what I didn't expect was for the insulation to melt off the wires. Now, I have a fuse. The fuse that, uh, that the company I bought the kit from gave me. That's a fuse right there. And it's, it's set up straight from the battery, so it should block any incoming connection between... the battery and the wires that would be too much but apparently not I followed the diagram that all tracks posted on their website I'm gonna list that in the description so I don't know what gives if anyone's got any uh, any ideas or suggestions for me as to why this would happen shoot me a line or how I can prevent it from happening again the end